Hi everybody, few of you guys asked me to do this tutorial, so here it is how to get a GPS location from the Android device. First let's see our main resource layout file. As you can see I have two views, a button and the text view. When we click on the button it will initialize a location service and print out the result into the text view below. Ok, go to the manifest file and make sure you implement these permissions. They will ensure the best location precision. Then go to main activity and first declare our views button and the text view. Now in order to access location services we need an instance of location manager. Also we need to implement a location listener that will listen for location changes. First reference button and text view with find view by ID method. After that initialize a location manager by typing location manager and then because it is a system service we need to call get system service method. In the constructor we need to enter the type of the service we are requesting. We need to access location so let's type location service. After this initialize a location listener like so and don't forget semicolon at the end. So as you see right now there are four methods that are associated with this listener. We are interested in the first one and the last one. The first one is on location change method and it is called whenever the, the location is updated. The last method checks if the GPS is turned off. So in that method we can actually write a new intent that will take user to the settings panel where he can enable GPS settings for the application. One more point, uh, we are compiling this in SDK version 23 so we will have to check for the user permissions at the runtime and according to them enable or disable services. If the version is lower than 23 we won't ask for permissions because they are already included in the manifest file. Now let's see how can we actually make a location request. Let's type location manager dot request location updates. Now let's see parameters. First is provider. We are using a GPS service so just type GPS with quote marks. Min time represents the refresh interval. How often should it refresh? It is represented in milliseconds so if we want to choose like 5 seconds we will type 5000. Then we have a min distance. It is like a second trigger. If it is greater than zero, then the location will update when the location has changed by at least mean distance meters from the previous location. So for example, let's say we put it on 5, that means the listener will be called only after we have moved physically 5 meters from the previous location. In the case we are standing in place, listener won't be called in this case. But if we set mean distance to zero, then the location will be updated in our case every five seconds because we set it like that with the previous parameter. And the last parameter is just our location listener. Now as you see it, it turned red uh, it is giving us error but it is just uh, an error for uh, permission check so alt plus enter to fix it and add this permission check for the SDK version 23 then alt plus enter 
again here and implement this condition. So now we have condition that if we are running SDK 23, uh, we will check for the permission, otherwise we will just continue configuration for our button. So let's type configure button here and create this method. Uh, copy the location manager request and paste it into this method. <clears throat> now let's handle the user permission. Uh, type in request permissions, then new string array. <coughs> And remember that we had three user permissions from the manifest file, so we must include them here. Then, like so. Uh, then the second parameter is a request code. It is just a simple integer and uh, it is an indicator for the permission. We can type any number we want. Let's type 10. Now, after we ask for permissions, we need to handle their results. Results are stored in a method called onRequestPermissionResult. So implement this method and we will simply switch the parametered request code and put a new case with the request code 10. That is the code that we have just previously entered. Now we check. If the permission is granted, then call configure button method. Let's just finish this configure button method. Uh, what we want in this method is to just set on click listener for the button so that when we click on it, we start a location request. Uh, now when the request is sent, method in which the location is updated is the first method in location listener. So in there we will append our text view with the location coordinates. So get a longitude and a latitude. If the GPS is disabled <coughs> we will create a new intent and send the user to the settings panel to enable the GPS service. So create a new intent with the parameter named settings.actionLocationSourceSettings. After that, uh, start activity. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, I tested this on my phone as well as on the emulator. First we will see the emulator that is running Android SDK version 23. As you see, application asks for the permissions allow. Now we can't get the location from the emulator, but it can be emulated. So we'll go to the device monitor, then emulator control, and here I can basically manually set the location update. So you see when I click send, we are sending like location update to the emulator. And you, as you see, we are getting a result. Now this is from my real phone that is running Android 5.1. When I clicked on request location, it took me to the location settings because the GPS was turned off. I enabled it, went back, uh, pressed the button again and it was working properly. Updating every 5 seconds. If you have some video requests, please write them in the description or on Facebook and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.